Okay, we're back for the first time in a long time. And in reality, is an even longer time with a Warzone 2 patch notes update video. Today, we're gonna to be covering the new update that went live today, January 20th, 2023. So this is a small update pending the delayed or not yet scheduled season two launch. Um, this is a small update addressing some bug fixes and some crash stability. So we're going to take a look at the DMZ changes, the Warzone changes, and uh, some global and multiplayer changes as well. So first up, we've got some general stuff. We've uh, got a statement here that says that they're continuing to focus and prioritize stability and crash fixes which is a great thing for everybody. So hopefully we see some more stability, especially in modes like DMZ where you lose all your loot. That's absolutely a, a, a thing that warms my heart. Battle pass, don't overly care about that, just some more stability stuff. Uh, we've got a load of bug fixes here. Um, the most annoying issue where you get the four names stuck on your screen when loads of people are talking at once, uh, which persists for the end of time, until the end of time, that has been resolved. Uh, we got an issue with the uh, directional progression in the gunsmith. I'm um, just skimming through these to get out the, the kind of interesting ones. Um, some fixes to some store bundles. Again, when I, I always say when you, when you talk about general bug fixes, they're things you shouldn't notice. So hopefully your uh, experience has or is improved since the update. Uh, looking at some Warzone 2 specific bug fixes. So we are, we have fit, well, we have, they have fixed an issue that prevents uh, match wins from counting towards calling card challenges. So that's been fixed. Um, without the, the stats board, this is one of the only things that we can uh, hold uh, dear regarding stats. So that's nice to see that tracking. Uh, fixed an issue that allows players to earn XP uh, when damaged by their own suppression mine. Okay, bit of an exploit. Um, allowed fixed issue with, with Dead Silence and Battle Rage. So we'll probably see those come back into the game a little bit more. Fixed an issue that allows players to gain XP with stims in the gas. Uh, and fixed an issue that caused the game to freeze, disconnect, uh, loss of functionality when interacting with a loadout. That The age-old loadout bug, which is still haunting us how many, God knows how many years in now. So, yeah. DMZ addressed uh, an issue with uh, that's impacting the functionality of flowing equipment swapping, preventing insured slot, uh, previewing, sorry, the uh, insured weapon slots. Um, fixed issue with large medium back plaques that uh, blocks the scrolling back down to the main so that's really was really annoying that's a nice one to be fixed uh, people not being ready uh, fixed the duplication bug which I know a lot of people liked but that's now been fixed um, and also fixed people from being able to loot the same supply drop at the same time go globally implemented uh, we've got fixes for the scoreboard um, some UI stuff Nothing too crazy. Uh, fix an exploit, allowing access to non-core multiplayer maps in private matches. Um, DMZ fixed a bug where weapon receivers that had been manually changed in the gunsmith could not be equipped in DMZ. So I definitely have seen that one. And again, a good one to have been fixed. That is all for now. Uh, we do have the news, obviously, that 2v2 gulags will be removed in Season 2. That is in... Um, almost a month's time, just under a month's time, and we will be seeing big changes all round to Warzone 2, uh, DMZ, and we'll be getting a new small map for Warzone 2, probably a resurgence map and the DMZ map um, in the same in the same map. So let me know what you're most excited for, and if you're going to be able to hold out for the wait for Season 2 without getting too stressed out by the RPK and Fennec meta, which we hope to see nerfed, um, hope you have a great day. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you on a live stream here on YouTube very soon. Peace out.